filmers and cinematographers are just a different breed. Like think about well, they are. think about some of the gnarly guys like Daniel Russo. Yeah. Who by the way loves the podcast. We got to get him on. He wants to come on. Oh, he God. loves it. He watches it every episode. <laughs> we we could tell him no filter, just come on and talk. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Canceled. Yeah, <laughs> I wait, like you can click someone's mic off right here. <laughs> Mute. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah. That would be funny to have him on. Yeah. We, should, we should totally bring him on. But uh, yeah, Larry was always just so happy, dude. Every time I saw him anywhere, surfing like Santa Paling Sunset or in the water at Pipe or at Mavericks, acting like a seal. Crazy, dude. It's just tragic. It's and really like, sad. A lot of times. The water guys, you know, they, the really good ones, they sit in the gnarliest places. I've seen a video clip, or maybe it was a photo sequence of Larry. Um, we're actually, we'll put up the photo for those who are watching. For those of you listening, it was at, it was in Tahiti at Chopes. Larry is, ha they tread water to oh, get yeah, their body yeah. out of the water to get the clip a little higher. Mm. And so I've only really seen like him and Russo do it really well. Yeah. Where they can get half their body up out of the water just using their fins and kicking and holding a big red housing. He's shooting this wave. I think it's Manoa on the wave. Not sure about that. We'll have to look at the photo again. But it's a 15-foot chopes wave, like yeah. full toe wave, super gnarly. He does not stop rolling. He doesn't swim under a lot of the newer guys. Dude, they swim under so early, and, <laughs> and they're, they're dangerous. And they get in the way, yeah. They put their camera, they dive under and leave their camera. Like, Jamie got knocked out by a guy swimming away from the wave, and they because they they turn their head away to get the yeah. shot, right? Yeah. And they swim under, and they leave the camera housings right on the surface. But we'll Which get to that. It's basically just yeah. hitting a rock. Yeah, exactly. They're just, like, pieces of metal. Larry continues to shoot and goes over the falls on, like, this 15-footer. In the lip, that dedicated. He could have been on the top. And he's probably so still legendary. been trying to shoot, like down <laughs> over the guy's head in the barrel. And he, I heard he just came back out so psyched. And I saw Russo do the same thing. Yeah, out there. I've seen Russo do that. But dude, some those guys are straight up athletes. Yeah, dedicated. whether like they train or not, to swim for eight hours is one thing. To swim. Like okay, so even if I go jump in the water and go body surf with fins on, like I'm not very used to it. I come out and my calves are like burning. Yeah. My quads are feeling like they're gonna cramp up. Yep. Dude, those guys will go out there for eight hours in massive waves that we're surfing and get smoked on them, holding the, yep. their cameras, just using all legs all day. And only that the is, ones that do that are the ones who get the best shots. Yeah. Well, like, there's there's like a there's like a tier there's like a group of the old school filmers like mm -hmm. including Larry like Russo, th those guys that are just so gnarly like swim at back door on the gnarliest day or. And because they're so knowledgeable, they know how to get out of the way too. Yeah, they're never. I've never seen them ever in the way. Or they like never close. like hit hit a surfer or hurt a surfer. Yeah. But like, like a lot of the newer guys are just guys that will go scrap buy a camera and swim out with no ocean knowledge. Most of these yeah. guys, they're surfers. They grew up in the ocean mm -hmm. from raised being in the water. They're watermen themselves. Yeah. Now it's like anyone can grab a camera and swim out and try to do something at pipe. Yeah. And they get straight up, get in the way. They crowd together. They all huddle together. Yeah. And they foam ball. At pipe, it's worse than anywhere. They foam ball so the end bad. of the wave. And in that foam ball is a bunch of housings. It's so bad. So dangerous. And it's this weird thing, right? Because we're like, hey, can I get my clip? Yeah. <laughs> but at the, the same... Fuck out of the Yeah, way. like, can you move? But also, <laughs> can I get my clip? Like, no, dude, I've... I, countless times. I know you've done it, too, where you just are coming out of the barrel pipe and you just go clunk. You're like, what was mm -hmm. that? Like, clearly it was a filmer. Nobody but, ever admits it. Oh yeah, they'll never be like, that wasn't me. You're like, look, like, I, who did I hit? I'm worried. Are you hurt? <laughs> they're just didn't like, hit me. <laughs> bleeding out <laughs> yeah. of their leg. They just keep it on their water. They're like, no one's gonna see this. No one's gonna see this. <laughs> no, no, no. It no, was no. not me. It was not me. But how will they know? <laughs> Nobody's gonna know. <laughs> Wait, what? Ha when did Jamie get knocked out? Is this a recent thing or? Oh, this was in the past last year. I think it was. Well, clearly, it was in the well, past, but. It was actually right when he started wearing his helmet. Oh, shit. He had his that helmet was the on. No, that was the cause mm -hmm. of him wearing his helmet. Was He's had a few incidents, but oh. I'm pretty sure is what he was saying. His, he fell on a drop, and he fell backwards. As, a, as he landed on an airdrop or something, he fell backwards. And a guy, he's pretty sure he said a guy had been swimming under, 
they looked at the land angle and just below the surface was the housing and it hit the back of his head and then he knocked out, he said, and then came to later in the beatdown and Swant was like awake enough after to swim up yeah. and come in and uh, someone might have helped him in. But after that, like he was super pissed, right? Because he's like, as he would be. Anyway. He's like looking for the Almost guy. Died. Like, yeah, who did that? Yeah. Like, why were you there? And then whatever. No one obviously admitted to it or he couldn't figure it out. But um, I swear that was when he started wearing the helmet. 